Once your course is up, the real magic happens with automation. Imagine engaging with your students, celebrating their milestones, and actually keeping them on track automatically. In this video, I will show you how you can create an automation workflow so that you make all of this happen, so that you focus on delivering great content to your students while everything else is running on the background. Let's dive into how you can boost your students' success while keeping them coming back for more. All right, folks, let's go straight to the juice and let's start creating the automation workflow. We just have to go to tools here, click on automation, and let's click to create the workflow. You will notice that there is a section here with online courses. And for this scenario, you have here four new templates that we've created that will help you just get set up in just a few minutes. And that's the whole point. It shouldn't be complicated. It shouldn't take long. So we will start with, for example, course progress reminder. You can preview the template and then you can just click to use. And I'll just give you a brief on how this works. So in automation now, there are three conditions. Enrolled in a course, lesson started or completed, and course started or completed. So th these are conditions that will help us populating your automation workflow, not the course. Uh, so people that join the course can also join the automation workflow and you can send them messages. So that's the whole point. And let's see this example on this template. So first, let's select a course that we have so let's see if we have here a specific course that we created and we did this one. And then the, once people start, they will follow the, the green path over here and they will go to, to the, this block, which is if they completed a specific lesson. So let's see on this one if they will complete the first lesson, understanding muscle growth, because if they don't, this is set up for in seven days for them to go through this. So this means those that actually engage with your course and they complete the first lesson, they would go through the green path. So they will just leave the workflow. We don't want to talk to them at this point. And the ones that don't within seven days, they will go through the red and we will then start sending them messages. And you can see an example here. If I go to create a message that we already have. So this is just now exemplified but you will see that it is possible for you to send a message so start your course don't forget about it this i'm just using ai to help us to help us come up with a quick subject line that you that we could have remember to begin your fitness course so that would work perfectly and about the message, you can also use one of our templates over here in general. So it could be even this, we haven't seen you in a while. Click to use a template, use your own colors, use your own text, but you can follow pretty much what we are doing here. And this would then lead you to just click next and you would save and publish. Nothing else to do, folks. So that's the only thing you will have to do. And if they actually get this message, you can then later on uh, just tag them, right? This is no big deal. So you could do just, I'll just do example just for the sake of exemplifying. But that's, that's one workflow that you could use to actually boost engagement in your course. Because what you want to look at is actually how many people are taking your course so that you can improve their lives. That should be the main thing. So that's that's why automation is really a core thing for you to do once you have your course online. And let's then go back and we will see another example here on how you can use automation. So for example, milestone celebration. Let's use a template and let's see how this works. So you have wait until student completes any lesson in any course but I want a specific course. So let's see my last course, specific lesson, and will be the, the last lesson. So once student completes uh, the last lesson, I will congratulate them. And actually in, in this scenario, you can congratulate them once they are in the middle too, so that 
just want you to feel like you can do this in different steps but so we would then engage them in the middle just for the sake of experimentation here and let's see if we could do that you could also use a template here about milestones just a, just a slight uh, incentive, boost of motivation uh, that people can feel the sense of accomplishment. That's the main point, folks. So you would go next and we will imagine that this is all correct and you would just click to save and publish, right? So nothing else to do here. And once again, you could then tag these people uh, with like achieved, achieved uh, lesson seven just an example you could call these milestones and then you would later be able to segment these people by the tag and engage with them too so just so that you know the possibilities and we will look into one last one also not complicated you have here online courses upsell and cross sell so that you can actually upsell your next course so you can wait until a student completes any course you can pick a specific one and let's do the 16. So if they finish muscle, uh, muscle building in 16 weeks, I would wait then two days and send them another message to actually upsell my new course. And so just so that you know, there is actually a specific box that could help you uh, add the course to your message. So I'll just add here a, an example overall so that you know but let's imagine one of the templates that we have over here. Let me see about fitness. Could be this. This is online fitness program uh, template. And what we could do once we reach the, the editor is to actually add the course there, right? So that there is a course box and we could add it here and we could add our course, the 32 weeks. You could, you could even change the format overall, but this is just for you to know how that will work out overall. And then you would go next because people then could enroll in your new course and pay for it. So that would be the perfect opportunity to start promoting it once they finish the previous one and you can save and, fi and finish, right? So you could do this for all your content. There is no need for you to actually feel limited by other tools on how you do things and you can then assign a tag for example could be absolved so that you keep track of how many people with this tag actually bought the new course and you could then start seeing some stats on that but as you see you could then just publish your automation let's click finish here and you would have you could have the three of them set up at the same time and you then you can start getting creative too with this now that your automation is in place, you can keep your students engaged without lifting a finger. Click here if you are ready to expand your revenue. See you in the next video.